All right, so today what we're going to get into is creating meditative music. Perhaps you want to call it ambient music, something that's relaxing, something that is atmospheric. So again, meditation, atmosphere, something soothing and calming, okay? So let's start with some of the basics that I feel are absolutely essential, okay? First things first, I'd say you want to find some pads some some instruments that have a longer attack time so and it really depends on what you're doing of course but ultimately if you listen to what we've created with this particular one and what you're looking at you're going to notice that a lot of the sounds have later attack times okay and what i mean to be clear for those who aren't perhaps familiar is sounds that don't initiate immediately all right you can see the attack is delayed and there's also quite a bit of release. All right. I'm going to go through some of these sounds right now. You'll notice the attack is really late. And there's also a lot of release. So a long tail. And the reason why we're doing that is to create, again, more atmosphere, less abrupt sounds more smooth transitions kind of like crossfading between each note okay now i use some voices as well here you can listen right here listen hip right here okay and of course i use that later attack that longer attack and we're talking about the ADSR, the envelope settings. A later attack, as well as a longer release tail to ensure that those sounds don't end abruptly, nor will they attack or begin abruptly, okay? Check out these pads. Okay? Another thing you'll notice is the effects that were used. I've spoken about this many times in previous videos. To look into these effects that are within the modules or within the instruments, instrument, instruments, pardon me. So look for these reverbs, look for these delays perhaps. Okay. Let's check out this sound here. Again, longer attack periods. Lots of release and uh, decay and sustain to keep those sounds hanging on. And then a long release tail. Some of them I use the slide notes as well. All right. Let's go back down here. You'll notice that I use compressors and that's for, for a variety of reasons. I just wanted there to be more of a consistent impact for the sound once it actually did reach its full velocity okay i also used stereoizers as you see to create some stereo field some width let's scroll down here and look at the master stereo field all right so perhaps this is a really wide mix as you can tell really really wide Right? A lot of meditative music is center-based, or, or pardon me, is, is um, headphone-based in the sense that it's experienced in headphones. Okay. For this main sound here, I used some automation as well. And that really is, if we look down here, we'll notice that it's just really the panning of the stereoizer to give it a little bit more room to move around. Okay. Let's listen to how this flute builds up here. Now, there are even some sounds that are a little more abrupt. Right. For this one, I was going for more of a perhaps a sci-fi type of ambient sound, perhaps. Okay. 
Now you'll also notice as well, I use some of these effects that are built right in. In this case, I used the delay, okay? And as you see here, more of this flute coming back, okay? Stereoizer getting that separation going. Now let's go back to the master channel. There's no saying that your mix has to be so wide, right? As you see, the center information is to some degree minimal. Okay. Your mixes don't have to be so wide. And as you can see, mine is focused well to the right. But that's just, you know, personally what I felt sounded right in the headphones. It's, it's, it's up to you guys to find the balance for you, right? Okay. I also apply spacers here in a lot of them, again, to create that space really wide maybe it doesn't punch through straight down the middle there are various techniques you can use to do that for example not widening so much perhaps adding some harmonics or some distortion perhaps which is completely fine depending on what you're using and depending on what sound it is and essentially again using your ears to achieve the sound that you want there's no right or wrong in this it really depends on how it sounds and quite simply how it feels when you listen to it okay i'm going to balance this out a little bit move it a little to the left because even though i do have this pan it's still pushing it to the right with the auto with the uh, automation clip as you see right down here now i want to look at something else if you notice here i've got my snap off okay it's currently set to off now, this automation clip is looping only because I did not record it for the length of this entire, this entire track. I recorded it for roughly, I mean, so my tempo is 60 beats per minute, but I didn't really consider time too much. Timing. Rather, what I did was, I simply took the snap off. You'll notice down here, a lot of these instruments have the snap off they're not the instruments are not played directly on the grid as you see some of them line up right on the line some of them don't it really depends right because ambient music is atmospheric and it's oftentimes it doesn't necessarily have to follow any particular pattern now that doesn't mean that your ambient music or your meditative music shouldn't be on a grid and shouldn't loop no guys it absolutely can again this is up to you and up to how you wish to produce your sound but simply i removed the magnet which removes snap so now i can freely slide these sounds anywhere i want okay and there's real not really any major pattern going on here even though yes there is i copied and pasted everything multiple times after creating one solid roughly two or three minutes of sound and i pretty much duplicated that as many times as i wanted to now if i were to export this for youtube or for a video series or for some audio series i may make this one hour or three or 30 minutes or maybe more it really depends and that's when you may want to consider doing loops or making a pattern that doesn't feel like a pattern something that you can multiply and duplicate um, repeatedly so that it seems very seamless all right as you see here it might seem like a loop but it in some ways it is in some ways it's not one other thing i want to talk about of course is these effects yes using reverb as you see we got some reverb here on this on the master but some of the other channels of course as i mentioned have the effects directly within the modules themselves okay like you see this delay and in some cases I've used also, like I said, some reverb as well. Again, that's to create some more length of these notes and, so, uh, and less of an impact for each of the individual hits. In some cases, again, this sound that's about to appear right now, it's about to come up, it does hit instantly. But I was thinking just to add a little bit of dynamics just a little variety right you hear that right there so 
if we look into this, it's really just one middle C note the entire way through. And so that's why I got into some separation with the spacer as well as the stereoizer, okay? Because I wanted there to be a little bit more movement in this one long, let's say, droning sound that, that kind of essentially exists throughout the entire mix. Now, one more thing I want to say as well. I created a bit of a rhythmic section here. These two, this pad, and these vocals actually do coincide with one another in a bit of a rhythmic fashion. Okay? But that happens every once in a while. I think that's just my thirst or desire for something musical and something perhaps predictable. So I did sprinkle that in every couple of minutes, let's say, in this particular mix, so that there's something to cling to. There's something to remind us that we are in this space, this musical space. All right, so guys, I hope this one was really helpful for you when it comes to creating meditative music. Perhaps you want to call it ambient music. There's so many ways you can look at it, but ultimately what we're trying to do is create a pleasing environment for the listener, right? We want to create an environment where somebody can escape perhaps the day of troubles and just enjoy the experience of listening to something that's it, that doesn't intrude on their their focus on what they're doing on the relaxation of course and again their meditation so guys thank you so much for checking this one out as always all right winning with blends justin blends guys check out the links in the description like the video of course hit the bell button why not turn on notifications all of them i hope to hear you back to see you back in the future so you can hear some of these tracks we're making together and feel free to join the discord and share some of your work i'm really asking you guys i would love to hear your work and i think we can create an amazing community here so all the best to you guys all right do check out this link here this video because i think you can find some really important information on how to use send effects to to increase your mixing potential all right guys take it easy